Selena here at CashureGreens.com. Welcome back to my gardening channel. On this video, I'm going to share with you the two different pesticides that I have used in my garden for years to treat my roses. Roses are such beautiful flowers to have in the garden, like this one. As many people love roses, including myself, insects and pests love roses too. If you don't take care of your roses and you don't take care of your pests and insects in the garden, they will take care of you. On today's video, I'm going to teach you how to identify pests that is attacking your roses, how to control them, and what product to use, and also how to apply those products so you can effectively treat your roses. But before we continue this video, don't forget to subscribe this video below and click the bell so you can be notified of my next new video. Support my channel so I can continue delivering gardening tips to you. Okay guys, I have two pesticides here that I will be sharing with you today on this video. I use this product in my garden to treat the roses and I will explain it to you the two products so you can uh, effectively treat your roses. I use the 100% uh, pure cold press neem oil and also I use the neem oil extract now neem oil is a natural insecticide pesticides fungicides and nematicides and one of the most active component in neem oil is azadurachin and it is found in the seeds of the neem tree so once the seeds is extracted the the, the chemical is called azadurachin now what is the use of these chemicals uh, Zedrectin is the most active in the oil and it reduces the insect's feeding time. So you're going, if you spray these uh, chemicals to the insects, the insects it becomes, it start, becomes starved. So you're starving them so they have the ability to uh, slow down their feeding time because of the taste of it. And uh, it also interferes the hormones of the insects, the cycle of the insects, so making them hard to... to uh, grow and lay eggs and also as what we call this uh, chemicals is also a repellent and it's reducing the their uh, growth so it's, it's a growth inhibitor so as i put up that way and other components of the neem oil is also kills insects so more than 200 species that would be killed using the neem oil because of the component found in the neem oil the azadurachin so now I will, I will show you the other one. So this product doesn't have that azadurachin. So what it does is only the oil and water and some other uh, component or chemical component. So I would, ha I would not recommend you to use this. It still works, but it is less effective. You need this, the, the chemical, the azadurachin. That's what you need to kill those insects. I used this last year. I use this and it's almost, uh, I, I use the whole bottle and it's still, I did not uh, kill those insects. It's just coming back and coming back. So you don't want to waste your, your, you know, waste your money to just buy something that it doesn't work. This one, it works actually, but it takes, it is less effective because it's a secondary of the name. So it's only 70% of neem oil uh, extract in this extract. And one is missing is the Azad. As a directing. that is the amazing of this uh, this neem oil extract. So don't use this. I would recommend you guys highly recommend this oil. It's a 100%. You need that because of the active component of it. Now, so now that you know that the two products, which one that you have to use, I would recommend you use this and not this. So if you see this, in you know if you see this, especially you read that hydrophobic. So that means let's just water and triglyceride. So you don't need this. You take that out. I used that and didn't work. And I used this one instead. So I use Nim Well. Uh, it's been using this for a while and it is really effective. And I will show you how to uh, how to dilute your solution so you can effectively treat the you know treat the roses. And I like this bottle because there is a measurement. I can, as you can see that there's hope you can see it there's already a measurement in here and then you always read the label so it's good to uh, you know follow the label of the bottle so if it says mix one fourth 
ounce of per uh, uh, solution of neem oil per quart of water so that means you have to use one fourth ounce so as you can see here i already measured this is one fourth ounces and i use this one but i could use this because they had already measurement in here so i like this bottle because i just squeeze this you just open a little bit the lid so the lid in here you just open it to release it so to release the pressure so you can measure exactly to this this uh, number in here now this is the quart of water so this is the quart of water now if you use only the oil in here it is not good because the water and oil separates so the oil will be on the top floating on the top and then the water will be below the bottom so you need an emulsifier so i use the uh, some people use uh, detergent i normally don't use detergent if i do i use the dawn and you know that is the only one option that i would choose because dawn is uh, is not really soapy i don't like soapy you know when you put water in it and it becomes bubble so i use the doctor the doctor Bronner's. so i use this so there is a direction in there so if you have four ounces you just use few drops maybe one teaspoon so you use only one teaspoon or two teaspoon ml of insect of this soap you know this insecticidal soap so again use the doctor doctor browners because this is really good mixing the uh, neem oil now let's go mix this neem oil and also before i forget when you get this neem oil make sure that you put this one in the proper temperature because it is pure oil and when it is cold temperature it turns becomes solid you know it is so you need to liquid liquidify the uh, the content of it i just so i just put this in the warm water because when i get it out it was in my greenhouse and the temperature dropped so it makes my oil like a uh, solid so i make so i had to uh, make it back to liquid again so i just put it submerged in the warm water so if it happens so you just submerge in the water and make it liquidize liquidify so let's go uh so let's go mix this so again use the label so you follow the label because if you don't follow the label then it would be affecting your you know it affects the, your treatment so probably you know you add too much or maybe you add less so depending on how infestation you know occur in your garden if you have uh, roses that it is infected you know then use maybe more more than what's re you know recommended but again follow the label so now we're going to mix this one fourth ounce so i will use just one teaspoon so i will put this one this is one teaspoon so i just use the one teaspoon of castel okay all right so i use that then i put this in my solution so most day you'd added something in there then i just mix it a little bit in here and now i pour it in here in this one quart this is one quart this is a little bit the uh, it's turned down to a little bit solid again so again you have to submerge in a warm water if if the neem oil is turning solid okay this is again this is the curt bottle but if you use jug or something like big bigger like a gallon you just put uh, one one ounce of so one ounce of neem oil if you use one gallon and then you just uh, add multiply that if you need you know if you need a bigger jug so i just you i just show you how to mix your solution okay so this is it now as you can see the the oil is on the top so what you do is just shake them shake it until until the solution is mixed well so you need to mix well then the reason of adding the soap the uh, is to emulsify emulsify the uh, 
the solution the neem oil so again so this is it okay so it's already you make sure that it is mixed well now let's go ahead and uh, check our roses and see if we can find some insects and we will identify what what insects or pests that is attacking the roses i'll be back okay guys uh, this is my roses this is a beautiful coral pink rose and as you can see here they are infestated the uh, the insects infestating here and we, if you see these holes as you can see here this hole i i will focus the camera so you can see it so as you can see this one here this is beautiful rose and within 24 hours if i don't treat them this pest would skeletonize my plants and i don't want that to happen so i have to treat them as soon as possible so this is the sign of rose slugs so and it is hard i i picked this one i don't know if you can see it that's good hard thing for us rose slugs because the they are so small and sometimes you know they're they're treat, uh they're different types of of worm in the roses but i don't know if you can see it i will focus that see that i cannot even hardly see it so this is the sign of rose slugs so if you can see the hole in here like that and then on the top surface of the leaves it is forming like a filament so that's what happened when they eat see i just found a new one look at how small is that look at oh my goodness i look at that how small is that i don't know if you can see it i will so probably you cannot see it so that is how small they are too small see you can see that and it's just like a so look at that they're eating my my roses they're feeding so you need to you need to treat this with the name oil and i i'm going to treat this okay so when you use your spray when you use your spray we'll show you how to spray them so you have to make sure that you spray your plants all the way you have to okay so you have to spray the top so i'm spraying this one the top soak them and i will explain it to you when when i'm done spraying in here that's the best time you spray your plant so uh look at this one here and the the worm the slugs mostly eat underneath so you have to make sure that you you soak underneath you need to target those worms is feeding they're feeding your rose plants and uh, make sure that you soak them and when you do this you have to do this in the 14 day cycle but i would recommend when you do this when you spray your plant i would recommend you to uh, maybe uh, one every other day something like that because you want to recover the rose because sometimes they react react the roses react to the chemicals and give them a break for a while but you've got to until you see that there is no infestation among so this one here so you have to shake it every spray okay you spray it and then you spray this the thing you spray the uh the stem now you're until you're spraying the stem now it is soaked now and until you spray the stem you spray on the base on the base of the rose because when you knock them out the insects that is knocked out in there they would harbor on the on the soil and then they would turn again the cycle so again the neem oil has these chemicals that interferes with their hormonal system so that's it you have to do like this now after you know i'm going to tell you that when you spray this you do it during the evening when the sun is is down like like now the sunset is down and you also do it in the morning and then you you come you come here and just spray your plants and make sure your plants is is soaked and then you know and that's it that's all you you need to do and i hope this video will help you and this is my video today so don't forget to comment below and let me hear about your comments and see you next next week